the sticky survey chemicals, the creamy survey chemicals, the watery survey chemicals, and the egg white survey chemicals are all cervical discharges that you will see as you move on to understanding how to track ovulation for pregnancy. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in on this episode of our health discussion. On today's discussion, we'll be looking at how to track ovulation for pregnancy using your cervical meters as well as your menstrual cycle. I'm your host, Tima Dauda, Medical Laboratory Scientist at Tima Diagnostic Center and your reproductive health consultant. Thank you so, so much for tuning in on this episode of our health discussion. If you are tuning on our video for the very first time, please do us a favor, click that red subscribe button right now and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are a lady trying to conceive, this video is very important because we are going to explain how you track your ovulation for pregnancy. We are going to give you how your cervical mucus or your cervical discharge or your vaginal discharge looks like if you want to conceive and when if you don't want to conceive so that you know that at this time it will be possible for you to conceive and at this time it will not be possible for you to conceive as well as giving you how the ovulation test will probably look like thank you so much for being here your cervical mucus is actually the key if you want to really understand your ovulation as well as understanding other signs like the breast tenderness, like you have an urge for intercourse. So we are going to go through the four main type of cervical makers which you will see if you are trying to conceive, when you should conceive or when it is not possible for you to conceive. The very first one is the sticky cervical makers. If you look at this makers, it is sticky, it sticks to your finger, it means that it will be difficult for sperm cell to actually move through this type of cervical makers. At this juncture, it is not good if you want to conceive. So if you need a child, this cervical makers is not the best and using your menstrual cycle, this cervical makers will come just immediately after you have stopped menstruation it therefore means if you menstruate for three days this will come around day four and day five the next is creamy the creamy cervical makers is this type of cervical makers that comes about four days to five days after you have menstruated so if you menstruate for three days and you add four days of around day seven assuming that you are a 28 day cycle so that will be around day 7. And this type of cervical makers, if you look at it, it is cream-like. This one is also difficult for sperm cell to penetrate through it. It therefore means with this cream-like cervical makers, it will be difficult for you to conceive. So if you want to conceive, this will not be the best. But if you don't want to conceive, this is actually good for you. You should understand that if you do your ovulation test, because with the ovulation test, it guides you towards you understanding how your cycle will be. If you do your ovulation test here, you are going to have a pure negative test in the, in the sense that you are going to have the test line showing very things. The test line will show, obviously, because all ladies have the LH hormone, that is the luteinizing hormone that's inside ovulation. So if you do ovulation test, with this type of survival chemicals, which is around day 7, for somebody who is a 28 day cycle, your ovulation test will show negative, obviously. It will show negative telling you that ovulation is not around. The next type of survival chemicals we are going to look at is the watery survival chemicals. Now, this is around day 9, day 10, day 11. This tells you that you are already fertile. that your fertility is around that's the implication so this watery cervical makers tells you that your fertility is around 
And at this juncture, intercourse can lead to pregnancy. So if you're trying to conceive, this is actually the best time for you. And if you do your ovulation test, at this juncture, the ovulation test will probably show positive because this is around the 11, the 12. And if your ovulation test shows positive, it is telling you that we are going to the last stage of your cervical meters, which is the XY cervical meters, telling you that you are about to ovulate. Remember, a positive ovulation test does not mean that you are ovulating at the moment, but it means that you will be ovulating in a day or two. So, if you have your cervical makers like this, which is watery, which is watery, it means you will be ovulating in a day or two. And if you do it, your ovulation test will show that you are actually about to ovulate. Which takes us now to the final, which is the egg white cervical makers. This egg white cervical makers is the makers that tells you that you're ovulating. And at this juncture, your ovulation test, because you're not know doing ovulation test again, since you already had a positive test, but if you do it, it's not going to show your positive ovulation test. By the time you're ovulating, the search of your LH hormone that tells you that ovulation was about to come, it is not on the ovulation day, but it is just about a day or two before ovulation. So, if you do ovulation tests on this day, you will not have a few positive ovulation tests. So, this tells you that you are ovulating already, and this is around day 14 for somebody who is a 28 day cycle. So, if you are 28 day cycle, this is around day 14, and this is the best time for you to have kids. You know, as a lady trying to conceive, once you see this, then call on it to come around because that is the best time for you to conceive. Let us do a roundup. In the past is the sticky. Sticky means it is difficult for you to conceive that just immediately after your menstruation. The next is the creamy. Creamy, it is also difficult for you to conceive. That is about five days after your period. The next is watery. Watery you are already fertile and that will probably show you a positive ovulation test telling you that you are going to ovulate in a day or two so what will appear around the 11 day 12 of your cycle and the last is the XY cervical makers which will tell you that you are ovulating already I wish you the very best as you try your luck don't forget to subscribe to our channel check your house and maintain your well and don't forget to share this article if you find it worthy and invite your friends to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so, so much. May God bless you. Do have a wonderful day.